Welcome back, my fellow duplicates, to Oxygen Not Included. Today, I've got some more Spaced Out DLC. And so, I was on vacation for a little while here and loaded up Oxygen Not Included just to generate some ideas, doing the normal things like deconstructing things and trying to reorganize the base just a little bit. And then I started to have this idea. You know, rockets, they don't necessarily need to be built on the surface. As it turns out, we can make rocket pads all the way down here. So I dug out this area over here and, well, now I'm going to put some rocket pads down here. And we're going to try to use the internal space of our rockets to grow space farms. Ah, yeah. So welcome back. I hope you guys have had a good break. If you guys got to take a little bit of time off around the holidays, vacation found me. <laughs> I wasn't thinking I was going to do it, but as it turns out, I really needed a vacation and it was nice. I did the usual things like visiting a different room and sitting in a different chair. You know, the sort of things we do nowadays. That said, I did do some other things that were actually kind of more productive. One of the things I did is make more sweepies. So if you guys were looking to pick up one of those, well, you can now find them over on the Etsy store. Link in the description. All right, so the dupes have built all the rocket platforms. They built it quickly. Now, let's go ahead and build the Star Farrier module. We're gonna go and start with that one. I have sized this with the intention that I, sh that I can actually take more of these and just keep stacking it up. Many, many, many. <laughs> Anyhow, let me make sure I have enough metal to keep running through all of this. I want to make sure that is queued up. What should we make it out of? Maybe some copper. Mm, iron. Oh, not that. Yes, there we go. Much of that. Actually, what I should do is go pick up my tungsten that's all the way over here. I should have a lot of it on hand. I'll be a little bit crispy over here. But look, even more. <laughs> Although those aren't the only volcanoes I could tap into. I've got a lot of gold over here. 50 tons of it. <laughs> and even more aluminum over here. Had, oh, I'm not sure how this ended up down here and then had igneous rock found its way right there. But that's kind of weird. I could just open that up. You can see I was starting to have problems with heat over here. Although I do have a lot of pips over here and I put in sweepies. <laughs> They're not plugged in yet. So, you know. And none of them are going to have a lot of fun over here with all these pips running around. Be very disgruntled sweepies, but... Okay, so we got the Space Farrier module loaded up right here. So inside of here, we actually have 80 tiles, just like that. And if we go to the room overlay real quick, and we go to a greenhouse, can, that can go up to 96 tiles. Not a bad volume if I didn't want to cheese the system a little bit. But look away, devs, because I'm totally going to cheese it out. Here we go. We're going to build over these tiles right there. And then we're going to expand beyond this and take up as much space as we can, just like we've done before. Because why not? Why is everybody coming in here? <laughs> Hassan, what? <laughs> oh, I see. That's what you were after. Mm-hmm. And you're out of power. I don't, that thing takes so much power. It's kind of the issue with that being right there, just the way it is. I don't really have enough power in these batteries to run that as long as I need it to run. You know what? <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about that. Recreation rooms inside of here. <laughs> yes, maximum cheese. Look away, Clay. Look away. All right, let's go ahead and throw some other stuff inside of here real quick. I'm going to need another new rocket. Boop, just like that. You know what? Let's give this one a sugar engine. Just a sweeten the deal up just a little bit more oh oh you know what if we had gas that this thing can't take we could just pump our extra gas inside of it and then i don't have to pump it all the way up and vent it into space <laughs> maximum jeez yeah you see the thing is with the sugar engine it just takes up a little bit more i don't even know if i could put the nosy cone on it it's blocked all right, yeah, these were definitely designed, they were designed for the carbon. All right, so after going inside of here and, you know, putting that stuff right there, then I can technically deconstruct that real quick and then get access to the rest of this volume right here. Although it can get even better. You see how we don't have enough materials for this? <laughs> Watch what happens uh, if we delete the spirit of myrrh real quick. Notice this right down here. Watch this meat. 
<laughs> 3,000 kilograms of steel. Shh, don't tell, don't tell Clay. So now we can get free rocket stations. All right, so we're going to need to deliver a couple of suits over here. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. That way, when we go inside of here, the dupes will have oxygen and all that good stuff. I mean, I don't necessarily need suits, but I figured it'd be a good idea to have them there. I mean, technically, we don't even need tiles down here. I'm pretty sure this thing could just, it's like it doesn't even need tiles. Hold up, I need a little bit more steel. We just spent some. Interesting that that has the exact same name. Spirit of Mer, new rocket, new rocket. Ha 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 ha, more steel. <laughs> this is why you never let me go on vacation. Okay, so I will need to deliver all of these suits over here, which means they need oxygen. Luckily, I have an oxygen line, and that is technically used, and that is used for suits. So I will just bring it right over here. Boom, 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 boom. Alrighty, so now I should have, yes, these suits be automated. Something like that, something like that. So if we deliver the Atmos suits over here, then we should be good to go. Now for the wires. Guess I should make those out of steel now. I just want you guys to know that I didn't discover this bug. No, no, this bug has been here for a little while. You told me about it so many times that uh, you practically forced me into using it. <laughs> mm. Something a bit like that. Build me duplicates. Build me. That's not good. Oh, yes. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, so one of the other things I was working on was a new video for the Sweepies. It's actually going to be uploaded to my other YouTube channel, and that is Watch It Print. So in that video, I'm looking at the whole process of what it actually takes to manufacture a product and then sell it using an automated 3D printer. The thing is, for a channel like that, I'm trying to find the right format that works for me. How can I cover an interesting topic that might possibly be super boring in an interesting and engaging way? It's a real odd balance, and I've been trying to figure out how, what that format's gonna look like, and I think, I think I'm pretty close. All right, so I have a lot of suits to deliver over here. So far, I've delivered two. However, that should be automated based on what I have going on over here. Mm -hmm. So long as we actually pull that out. And how else are we doing around here? Well, <laughs> look at all of these slicksters down here, and look at how much carbon dioxide is in here. Mmm, little Slickster, what have you done? You were so greedy. You're hogging all the carbon dioxide to yourself. They did this on purpose. Covering up that vent just like you did. You can't even blame me for that one. They did it. Not my fault. This is a lot of steam down here. Oh, I see. This overflowed down here, making this poor little grub grub super grumpy. And it drained down here and is now slowly melting my base. Nice. Well, too late now. Here's a random question for you, and I don't know the answer to it, but I was playing a space game the other day and you could stop your spaceship and, and, and it wouldn't be moving at all. And then I was thinking to myself, okay, well, what does it actually mean to not move? I mean, think about that. What is not moving in the universe? I don't know the answer. I haven't even Googled it. I'm just pondering that idea. What does it mean to not move? Now I can tell you what not moving looks like in my life. It usually consists of laying on the couch with this quilt. If you get trapped underneath it, you might just wake up next spring. Honestly, it's a weapon of mass procrastination. Many a Netflix series have fallen before that thing. <laughs> All right, so here we have it. I've now outlined how much I want to, how much space I want to have out here. So now we have 600, is that really? 650 tiles. Nice. As compared to the 63 tiles it takes up in this base. So really we're getting a whole order of magnitude more by using these little modules and then breaking the walls down. Even if we weren't doing that, it would still be 80 tiles. Which even if we were to use all of this space right here, that's still 70 tiles. It's worth a little bit more. But maybe even more important than that is, uh, is the fact that this is its own environment. It's not going to be impacted by anything that's going on in here, which is kind of an interesting concept. I can bring only the type of gas or liquid or whatever I want in there. And if the rest of it's vacuum and there's no heat being added to the system, then I may not have to worry about it. 
Although, when you go to farm and stuff, some of that stuff gives off a little bit of heat. Hmm. All right, technically, these don't need the nose cones on them, but I figure since I can basically get the steel for free, we might as well make them look a little bit better. Plus, give it a nice little background. Now, didn't I just deliver suits to this? Where did all these Atmos suits go? Dupes? Are they running around in Atmos suits? Honestly, where'd you guys go with all the Atmos suits? Here we go again. Dupes? Are you? Mm. Oh no, we don't have any food here. Well, I think we actually do have quite a bit of food. <laughs> I mean, all I gotta do is go get it. Come on, dupes. Oh, are you guys refusing? You're the ones who are hungry. We clearly have enough pips. There, there, there's many pips. See, there you go. Loads of calories. All right, so there we go. The last nose cone we have completed. The Great Rocket Farm. <laughs> Why I wanted to build 12 of these, I don't know. Honestly, just I don't, I, one would have been enough. But no, I suppose if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing. So there you have it. You know what? I wonder if you can stack rockets like this. It was possible in the previous version of the game. You can actually just build them up and launch them out of a silo. So I don't see why it wouldn't be possible now. Except for this stuff's in the way. All right, so there we go. Some sort of blueprint like this. We should be able to go in there and do what we need to do. The thing is, I will probably need Atmo suits. Otherwise, the dupes will go in there and they won't be able to get a lot done. So, they are set to a decent priority. However, delivering suits seems to be a... What are you guys doing? Like... You... Monk! Monk! You just took a suit from up here... That's not what I mean, Monk. <sighs> Here's the other thing we need to deny access over here. So they have to go through that. And they have to put this on. Ooh, yeah, they'll get sunburned too. Yeah. But look at all of them running in here. You know, these dupes are being so efficient without a suit. I'm not sure I want to stick them in there. Look at this. Look at how fast they're building all that. I'm definitely going to focus on one line at a time. I think that's a good idea. Go in here, do that sort of thing. Try to come up with the same pattern. I'm not building all the way to the edge. There's two tiles, two tiles. Around, yes, okay. Ooh! Slug eggs, oh, shine nymphs. You know, I don't have any shine nymphs left. Yeah, we should get some shine nymphs back in here. I think all my plug slugs are tame as well now. Which is fine, which is fine. I am actually getting power out of them too. Aha. All right, here's a fun idea. Okay, what if we were to set up <laughs> to where the uh, we had like little micro bases and they were just in the side of rockets and the planetoids, well, I don't know where the planetoids are. They're just there. <laughs> the whole idea is you just have a whole bunch of little colonies inside of spaceships. Hmm? Might be kind of interesting. Maybe they go and they visit a planetoid and that's where they pick up whatever sort of foods or whatever they need to to sustain their small little colony. Interesting. That might be a fun alternative way to play the game. Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right, so I'm just thinking through what I want to do inside of here. Mushrooms came to mind, but not just any kind of mushrooms. No, no. We need mushrooms wildly grown and tended to by grub grubs. Hmm. Yes, this is the way. So we'll do this number right here, just get rid of every other ladder. And then we come in here with the manual airlocks, just like this, build the tiles. All right, so now that I have this manual airlock here, if I go back and deconstruct this, for some odd reason, this should turn into like an iron tile. Isn't that right, Meep? <laughs> Like I said, if you're gonna cheese, you might as well just milk the whole cow. Here we go. Uh, Meep, you got an issue up here. Mm, oh boy. There you go. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Build, duplicates, build. Oh, what's this? Free glass? Hmm. Okay, technically, I didn't leave myself enough space for solar panels, but you know what? I don't think I need that for this spot. Mmm, how wrong I am. I do need power. Why not? Auto sweepers, clearly. Good thing I already have glass. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh yes, this is coming along nicely. 
see this base would look very nice if I had two solar panels, one for each side. It actually spaces out perfectly. We just have a little bit of a solar panel right there. Boom. Then we come in here just like this. Deconstruct that. Build up all of those. Ha 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 Oh yes, there we go. Mmm. Perfect. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. Building, 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 building. There we go. I brought in some plastic. That'll be for the ladders. Kind of allow us to move a little bit faster from one spot to another. You know, because you might need to run around and go visit the critters and whatnot. I don't know. Maybe. Oh no! Ada! Oh no! I didn't even notice you were stuck in the door there. Oh, <laughs> rest in peace, Ada. Okay, now here's a good question. Oh, they do mourn. All the duplicates that are on other planets do mourn, but they're not going to be able to visit. Well, bummer. Well, at least I got a good spot for you, Ada. We no longer need the research station here, so right next to the printing pod and the, the toilets, you're fine. Okay, I really haven't figured out why I have so many critters right here. I know there's a reason they're coming from somewhere, but I don't know what shipping line is bringing them here. Wait, what are you doing? No, your food, right? Your food. Eggs, eggs, critter egg, critter. Uh, it's a vast mystery and I don't have the answer for you. Although I am slightly convinced that this might be just one... One step too far here. May, 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 may. Don't make that mistake. Oh, there we go. Hate is out of here. Aww, they're all sad about this. Oh. Well, okay, as it turns out, you're going to need a tile here. Apparently that is needed to get in and out. Build it, build it, build it, build it, build it. Go, 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 go. Woo! <laughs> We now go live to the dev team from Oxygen Not Included. <laughs> Alright, so we learned something. You do need to have this tile right here in order to get in and out. Ha! Huh. If you don't have that there, everybody dies. Good to know. See the things you learn. You... Anybody want a warm sweater? We have an extra warm sweater. I'm gonna drop this one off at the Lost and Found. Uh... May? Terrible idea. You know, I'm starting to suspect that the reason I really wanted to do this was to give me an excuse to make lots of wallpaper. Yes, 2021 is off to a good start. I mean, not really, don't turn on the news, but at least there's something that looks like wallpaper. All right, let's try to put them inside of Atmos suits. Let's see what happens here. You know, Monk, that doesn't count when you take it off of one and you put it on another. Come on, noobs. I have delivered a suit, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Who's stressed over here? Nuffy? Are you stressed? Is that because you're still mourning? No, you're just hungry. I got it. I mean, uh, stresses me out too. I mean, you might have been starving for a few cycles. I mean... Oh, now you're stress eating. Ha! Found enough glass. Perfect. There we go, just finishing off the last tiles. Things are looking pretty good. I just tried to use up the rest of the ore that was around, so wherever I saw igneous, I just decided to build a igneous drywall and whatnot. That way I didn't have to come back in here and sweep up a whole bunch of stuff. But all of that construction is now complete, so let me go ahead and sweep her up. All right, so now I'm going to need a couple of things. One, I'm going to need a storage box for the seeds that I want to be in here. The next thing I'm going to need is a critter drop off. We'll need that for the grub grubs and everything else. Yeah. Although they should be able to climb wherever they need to go inside of here. So I think that'll be fine. And one last thing I need is going to be a canister emptier. I'll slap that in right here. That will be for the type of food that we're going to have in this area. So I think this one is probably going to be carbon dioxide if I'm trying to do, to do the mushrooms. We'll look at the temperature. It's a little bit all over the place. And then for the seeds, fungal spore. Alrighty, so it's a new day. Well, 
it's technically the same day, but no longer five o'clock in the morning. Now, let me go in here and let's set this thing up. So what I want to do inside of here, we have the critter drop off. And what I need to do is bring in pips. Okay, so I need a lot of pips, which means I might have to do a little bit of flying around to bring the pips in here. Plus the other thing is I need the seeds. I do have fungal spore seeds, that's good right there. And then I also want to make sure that I can't, uh, that the pips won't plant here. So I think what I've done in the past is I put little ladders right here. This seems to work out pretty good. And I doubt I'll get 100% coverage. <laughs> Literally, I have to go watch my own video on how the pips work again. But if I plant from top to top row and then go down and then down and down, it should give me a pretty good coverage. Then the last thing I need to do here is bring in that gas. So if we go back out here, I should have a canister filler somewhere. Yes, that's right down there. Unreachable build. Why are you unreachable? Ah, I'm having such issues with the, with the docks here. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. You over here, you need to just contain more. There we go, we'll make more of these. Okay, so the other thing I need to bring in there is some grub grubs. Oh, look at this, we already got some pips in here. Nice. All right, let's bring in some grub grubs. I believe those came from the spaceship all the way. Oh no, it's in, it's in this list. <laughs> uh, okay, I think they came from here, Meep. Speaking of skills, Meep, do you have what you need here? Oh my gosh, look at this madness. There you go. Do some ranching, Meep. You know what? It might be a good idea to bring back an Arbor Acorn just so that the pips that are in there can stay alive. I think I need to take this ship and run it to the other location just to pick up all the seeds I need. Let's do that. Meep, come on in here. I'm gonna change your destination right over there. Boop. There we go. Now, Meep is inside of there. We'll go up here and we can launch that off. Knowledge warnings. Oh, I could just hit launch here. Huh. That's not. That way I don't have to activate this thing, which causes it to go round trip over and over again. Okay, so we can see that the seeds are here. Now, let's see here. What if I drop that out real quick? See if the pip will grab it. This pip should be capable of moving off this platform and going wherever it needs to go. Hmm, are you gonna do it, Pip? All right, Pips, you know you wanna come up here and plant right there. Yeah, you do. Right there. Let's do some quick modifications here real quick. Okay, so Meep made it to his new home. So what I want to do is go over here and I'm gonna find the seeds. And this is where I want to pick up, well, I guess if I could pick up some Arbor Acorns, that would be useful. Hmm, some Buddy Buds, those would be nice, but also the Fungal Spore. All right, looks like I have a decent amount of seeds. Let's pick up a couple of pip eggs as well. And look at this, I can plant a whole new buddy bud over here for me. There you go. All right, I think we have everything in that we need. We'll go back to auto or just crew. There we go. Check our flight path, perfect. And launch it away. Hmm, <laughs> all right, Sludgax. I see what you're doing. Inside of here, we can incubate pip eggs. There we go. Which means we do now have some pips up here, but do you have the seeds that you need? No, not yet. Well, let me fix that. Oh no, oh no. They found the transportation tube. Crap, I need another checkpoint. That would be why I don't have any suits here. They just keep going in here, running over there, and then transit tubing all the way out of here. Sneaky dupes. All right, pips, are you gonna do this? Hmm. Or do they, they probably need to be happy. Let's get somebody in here. Grim, could you come on up here and encourage the pips? All right, Pip, now what do you think about your life choices, huh? You know you want to. They're right there. Hmm, maybe there's a plant too close over here, somewhere where I can't see it. Let's try knocking that one down. Is it because the drywall is there? Could that be causing it? That would stink. Well, let's give it a try. I'm gonna move them down just a little bit to see if this works a little better. Here we go, drop the seeds. Ah, ah. Ah, uh, you know what it is? It's probably the air pressure. They don't re they realize they're in space or something and they won't do it because of that. So if that is set really high, there we go. We can go ahead and bring in some carbon dioxide. That should hopefully change the scenario. Yeah, how very weird. They don't seem to want to do it. Whereas here, they had no problem at all. Hmm. So it's not like I haven't done this before. <laughs> this is a very successful example of what exactly I'm trying to do here. Is it iron ore? But that isn't hard. That should be just fine. 
What is wrong with you, Pips? All right, Pips, I reloaded the game just for you. Hmm? There is your seeds. Here. Alrighty, Pips, what's your deal? You're not planting. Hmm? 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 All I know is I'm running out of caffeine. Fine. Fine. Here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You, you planted over here. Hey. Well, that's good news. Did it have to do with gas pressure or what? I thought you did wait for me to finish building this, didn't you? Mm, you pips. See, I knew you could do it. Now, now, now go up here. It's gonna be all three of you. And this is gonna be set to zero. And then we're gonna go like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was the air pressure. There we go. Now, my pips are planting these up right here. That'll be awesome. Should be able to get many of those growing all the way up here. And then we'll come back down here and do some more and then do some more and some more and more and more, yes. All right, so now that these plants are here, you can see that they have a 30 cycle growing period, unless you do what you need to do, hmm? Are you gonna do it? Or are you cramped and therefore not happy? Aha, there's a grub grub grub. Yes, ha 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 ha. So now, my wild plant is growing 50% faster. That's only 15 cycles. Not bad, here comes the next one. Oh, yes. Knock down the next ladder. Bring in the next seed. You know you want to, Pips. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That one right there. Pip. Oh, wait. You've already done it. <laughs> Sorry for me being so slow. Ha, 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 ha. Yes. Oh, yeah. This is working good. Look at that. We already got one dust cap there. Perfect. How much carbon dioxide do we have? Oh, we've got plenty. We don't even need to run this anymore. What's the temperature like? Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, oh. Hey, 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 look at this. Oh, yeah. And we get the grub grub rubs going on here. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Take that video game. And here we go with another plant. Boom. <laughs> I love this too much. And there we have it. The last seed. Ha. So now, if I take a look at the harvest overlay, look at all this. Nice. That's a total of 12 dust caps thus far. So as we can see here, the plant has definitely come together. Ha! How about that? I think I have room for about 43 plants inside of here, which, I mean, don't get me wrong. This is an incredibly inefficient use of your time. It took forever to make this thing. And it's literally one of 12, which I don't think I might go and make all 12. Some of these might just become recreation halves, something fun like that. However, the idea, if we do it a little less cheesy, might be to go and actually build a farm, a couple of farms inside of an area just like this, fairly small, but fly them out to various planets where they might have access to the types of material they need to grow, such as slime or something like that. Very quickly ranch up some of that and maybe fly the food around wherever it needs to go. It's an interesting idea to potentially use rockets to farm things up and move them around. At any rate, that's all I got time for today. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Stay awesome. Peace. Brothgar out.